suicide among adolescents have risen sharply in recent years. And here to explain the impact on our local kids is Dr. Kevin Simon, a child and adolescent psychiatrist at Boston Children's Hospital and the city of Boston's first chief behavioral health officer. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Hey, Dr. Simon, it's great to see you. Thanks for your time. So the mayor appointed you to that position in June. Do you think that the mental health situation in the city is improving or are you seeing signs, especially for kids, that it might be getting worse? Right. Thank you, Juan, for having me. And particularly on this day um, where we celebrate Dr. King's legacy, who himself uh, had two suicide attempts before the age of 13. So I think since the time that I've uh, been with the, the city, we've seen a tradition of an uptick in ER presentations around the beginning of school. Um, fortunately, since the new year, we've seen um, that trending in the right direction, so less presentation to the emergency rooms. Um, mm. So the current trends um, are holding are holding true. Uh, so doctor, let's talk about access to treatment. That's so important, especially after coming out of the pandemic. Are there enough resources available in Boston right now to provide counseling and care for every child who really needs it? Yeah, no, this is a good question. So. Even before uh, the current period, there have never really been uh, the appropriate number of uh, behavioral health resources. However, the city and the state have made significant investments with regards to behavioral health workforce. Um, so since the new year, there have been a number of newer programs that have been online, um, which I think is a result of the reason why we're seeing a downtrend in uh, presentations to the emergency room. So. There aren't enough, but there's more now than there were just a year ago. One leads to another. One leads to the other, exactly. Dr. Simon, you did mention this, but as you know, many kids with severe mental health conditions are waiting days, even weeks, in local emergency rooms for psychiatric beds to become available. Is, is there anything that, that you or the city could do to help expedite that or to help them? Yeah, I mean, I'm in the hospital right now, uh, but the city and the state have um, there's now a new behavioral health helpline. And so the number for that is 833-773-2445. So that behavioral helpline, uh, that's for an adolescent, a parent um, who, who has a youth who is in crisis. Um, and the behavioral health line can actually connect you to a behavioral, a community behavioral health center or what we call the CBHC. Uh, throughout the Commonwealth, there's 25 CBHCs within the Metro Boston area, there are five. Um, so again, that's something that's new that we didn't have previously. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something that's helping um, decrease the, the number of quote unquote borders that we have. Can you say the number one more time, doctor? Yeah, yeah. So that's 833-773-2445. Doctor, thank you. Dr. Much. Simon, thank you Great so to much. Have you. Come back. We, we'll keep talking with you, but this is an no important problem. subject to talk about. Great job, Dr. Simon. Thank By the way, time. we do want to say this. If you need someone to talk to about suicide, if you have concerns, contact the Nationwide Hotline 988. That lifeline provides free and confidential emotional support 24 hours a day. We